Uh, gang, let's do comic book haul. This big one. Okay, this big one. Let me tell you the cost of this big one. This big one, including shipping, came out. Hey, come on. Came out to sixty dollars U.S. Uh, sixty dollars Canadian, which is around um, forty-five dollars U.S. Right? That's including shipping. Including shipping. Okay. So let me do this here. So the sound on the mic is not too much. Nice packaging. Check it out. Oh, and put it in the bubble envelope. Cool. Let's check it out. Now, this is a comic book series that uh, is modern age. That uh, I've collected. I have. The first uh, issues up. Okay, nice. I have issue number one. This is issue number six. Okay. I have issue number one, number two, and number three graded. And we did a comic book haul uh, regarding this, right? And this is issue number six graded at 9.6. Sandman. Sandman. Have you guys been watching the series? So good very good so this is sandman graded at 9.6 okay issue number six uh including shipping costs 45 dollars us okay and i have the uh i don't have the full run of sandman but i have i was collecting it way way back then when it was coming out right so i have raw copies of issue number one two three four five six seven eight i got i grabbed a whole bunch of uh copies of issue number eight because of the first appearance of death here you want a screenshot let's check it out and dave mckeon covers how is this gonna come out <laughs> let's do it like this <laughs> right sandman series yeah 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 amazing series if you haven't read it or read it right and i still haven't read the whole thing but I, um i went more than halfway and then i stopped i got a read it from the beginning again all the way through okay so very happy to have this um i was bidding on issue number five as well and uh, i got bid bid out i couldn't uh i didn't win it and um uh, what do you call it and i passed on the opportunity to buy issue number four graded so slowly i'll get i, I want to get the first 10 graded slowly over time right so that's good Cheryl it looks like it did uh, get renewed for a second yeah 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 I've heard that too yeah they'd be crazy if they didn't renew it for a second season right it supposed to be it was number one watched uh, series uh, uh, show that they had on Netflix right now this package okay this package you're more getting uh, getting uh, more graded comics i see you must have a good number of them now chicho lonely piggy i have uh, i have uh, a short box plus a little bit more and i'm only buying when i can get them at a good price or if i really want something right so i'm getting some graded stuff because some of the graded stuff i'm getting it cheaper than what it would cost to send the comic to get graded right this is this one isn't the case it costs it would it was like 45 dollars us and for me to do it to take my copy number six uh sandman out to ship it out actually with shipping and stuff it would cost me probably more than 45 bucks uh, us to get a ship uh graded ship and all that jazz shino chicho where can i buy the drug war trading cars how much uh we do auctions at the end of the year and i still have some and i auction these off for twitch points right uh you can buy them online i just ended up buying a whole bunch at a bulk uh from a seller on ebay so i could have these available for people to win um on uh, what do you call it uh on the yearly auctions that we do we just did one of our yearly auctions so uh unfortunately like this is what they're like take a look so this is this is card number one 
declaration of war. This is Bush Senior, right? Drug war, drug war. So amazing. We did the full reading on these cards, 36 cards. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So much history in them. So if you want to wait a year, uh, I will have more of these to auction off at the end of the year with our uh, Twitch points, or you can go online and try to get them. They're pretty cheap. Uh, I'll tell you the truth. You can, you can get them for $10, $15 off eBay plus shipping right lonely piggy i'm about to send a few more to uh to get graded as cgc hulk number one first red hulk nice which should get me to uh, get me the 9.8 it's a sharp copy nice then a few nightwing number ones uh uh because nightwing because nightwing <laughs> nice uh give me a ciggy they're pretty cheap online as well they're pretty cheap the drug war is pretty cheap okay hello my friend chops how are you doing now this second package okay you would have seen this before okay now i was bidding on something that the seller had on here okay and i asked him a question actually i was going to bid on it i sent him a message saying you know how much how much would shipping be and he said it was going to be forty dollars he was in the states he said forty dollars to canada i was like oh man i'm i'm not going to pay forty dollars for that it's too much for what i was looking at right and and then when the auction was over he had another he had a, some items and one of the items uh it didn't meet his reserve that i bid it on and stuff like this i just bid it just to track it i did a little bit i knew it was going to go higher but didn't go for what he was he had a reserve price on it right so he contacted me after the auction was over and he said hey listen you were bidding on this and you asked me a question i have a whole bunch of these things okay I'm willing to sell you this for this much and this for this much and this for this much. I said, you know what? I'll take what I'm about to show you for $200 US. Okay, so what I got here was cost me $200 US and then $10 shipping. So $210 US, right? And that came out to $200 is like $275 Canadian. So it cost around $290 including shipping, right? Now, unfortunately, he put $200 value on the package. So when it hit the border, I had to pay an extra $42 Canadian for duty and handling fee fees, right? So I got burnt on the handling fee, on the duty at the border, right? Ended up costing 16% more than what, what I cut a deal with this guy because of duty, okay? What's in here? Lonely Piggy, what's in here? Do you guys want to guess what's in here? What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> Let's check it out. Let me crack this open. Okay. And as soon as I show you guys what this is, uh, <laughs> as soon as I show you guys what this is, uh, I'll tell you why we got this. Red Slinger, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh tier one they've been so brett slinger uh tier was subscribed for, at tier one they've subscribed for 17 months currently in a 17 month streak Woohoo! salute salute thank you very much for the sub brother appreciate it lonely picky says graded cards <laughs> i love it it's not graded cards it's not graded cards it's not graded cards it's not graded cards <laughs> too small for comics too small for comics too small for comics i think what happened the border people cracked this open and they retaped it let me show you this now this thing was like moving around it's cards it is cards <laughs> which cards which cards are these which cards <laughs> i think i put a rag <laughs> which cards <laughs> damn that box looks exactly like the graded card box you opened some time ago does it look like it maybe maybe it's not from the same seller pokemon ah, i love it <laughs> Chops. pokemon cards nice 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 okay gang <laughs> let me show you this oh man he, he had these loose in here oh i got a feeling it's the 
the border people did this idiots idiots and they charge ten dollars for handling fee just imagine border people they're federal agents their salary comes from our taxes right so for doing their job at the border which they're getting paid by taxpayers they charge a ten dollar handling fee for doing their job to the taxpayer <laughs> this is crazy give me a second julian assange cars oh julian assange. i don't know if there's julian assange cars. political cards political cards indeed if they're julian assange cars i gotta get my hands on them rotten to the core gang rotten to the core but there's a catch here okay there's a catch here there's a catch here these are rotten to the core trading cards but they're missing one card okay they're missing the donald trump card okay so let me crack this open so hold on we got we got because why did i get these why did i get these gang why did i get these why did i get these someone just came out we we're talking about it asking how we can get the drug war trading cards most important one the most important one indeed the most expensive one right why did we get these because i'm going to put some of these up for auction next year but it's missing the trump card just know this but it has the rudy giuliani card right so one two three four five six seven eight of these cards okay eight of these cards it still has the rudy giuliani card okay and we're going to do a full-blown readings on these so eight of these cards right uh two hundred dollars uh should have been 25 dollars each but then with 40 dollars it came up to uh let's say 280 320 so it came out to 40 dollars canadian a pop right they usually overprice the trading cards online with the trump card uh to a certain degree i've seen the trump card graded at nine be sold between 400 was it 500 400 or 500 us all the way up to 700 us right so that's what the trump card graded at nine sells for right now i saw one graded at seven sell for 140 dollars or something um i should have bought it tell you the truth okay immigration can stop cars but not people haha -ha. what's the obama card worth obama card i wouldn't pay two cents for an obama card check this out it's got the rudy giuliani card pretty nice condition these are really nice condition actually right and it's got the rest of the cars but it's missing 26 it's got to be missing doop, doop, doop. yeah check this out so 25 and no 26 right i've seen someone sell the pack at the trump cars for 500 yeah right i've seen without the trump card or there's there's people trying to sell these packs um without the trump card for there's one person trying to sell it for like 300 without the trump card i wanted to get these because i think they'll make an amazing start to someone's uh, collection for card collecting amazing politics stuff right and we'll have some of these up for auction uh in next year's uh next year's twitch points celebration auction is the magic card 26 is the magic card yeah 26 is man and 26 gang here's here's one of the sets that i bought that has the 26 i'll show you the 26 card the donald trump card Boink. come on donald where are you there you are here's donald and this is like a reader copy here's a donald trump card number 26 what i might do for uh for next year's auctions i see my gift next christmas <laughs> and what i might do is photocopy these and just get a copy of this done and include the donald trump card with the sets as well so at least people have have the donald trump card even though it's just a photocopy of one right <laughs> right <laughs> awesome how the guys like i see one and these are phenomenal phenomenal and it looks like the baseball cards that eclipse comics put out and this is eclipse comics uh put these out uh, and they're they were independent comic book company 
uh, that did a lot of political comics and did a lot of political cards. And the baseball cards that they have uh, out, they're not really baseball cards. Uh, <laughs> a thousand points all the god says <laughs> nice they, they they weren't baseball cards they were actually george bush neocon cards right and here's another one that we're going to do a reading of iran contras right so iran contra we're going to do a reading for jfk we're going to hopefully try to finish the readings the, in the next few days right we did the readings for the drug war trading cards we're going to do the readings for the rotten to the core trading cards and any of the other political trading cards I end up getting, we're definitely going to do the readings for, right? Because it's definitely up our alley, definitely up our alley, right? Give me a Siggy, haha, that's smart. Uh, a custom Trump card for Chicho, yeah, 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 maybe I'll sign them. <laughs> we'll have them out for Trump 2024, hilarious. And people are freaking out on, on, on the sensor tube. People are like, oh my God, Trump, how could you collect Trump car? I'm like, dude, this is like an investment. Like, It's the weirdest thing, right? It's the weirdest thing. People have such hardcore Trump derangement syndrome that they're freaking out. Like, check this out. They're freaking out about... Where is card 26? They're freaking out. Oh, these aren't in order. Oh yeah, these ones are in order. Where'd it go? Where is the Trump card? Oh, Trump 26, Trump 26. Oh, it's not here. Where did it go? Hold on. Let me bring it up. Let me bring it up. There it is. So there are people on sensor two that are freaking out that I'm investing in buying Trump trading cards, Trump's rookie card, right? They're like, how could you invest in this? How could you buy this? Do you like Trump? Oh my God. Oh, Chicho, I thought you were this, you were this. You were this. I'm like, dude, irrelevant of what you think of trump right this is an investment human artifact human history probably one of the most important political figures one of the most important definitely one of the most important political figures in the united states of in u.s history probably one of the most well definitely one of the most important presidents in u.s history right unveiled a lot right irrelevant if you like them or not this is a human artifact investing right people are, are having a fit that i'm doing this right meanwhile they're okay with buying stock in lockheed martin in boeing in raytheon buying pfizer moderna stock buying stock in companies that have murdered how many people right they're totally okay with that buying stocks in wall street support wall street but oh man unforgivable if you actually buy a donald trump trading card that's how low iq people function that's how low they are right complete trump derangement syndrome where they have totally lost grasp of reality okay that's where we are crazy right give me a siggy wish i have that amount by next auction i'm a 3k okay well we're not gonna auction just one we'll auction probably at least two probably three of these things next year okay maybe two because we still have to do drug war trading cards and i'm going to see if i can i'm going to try to get more of the other trading cards as well uh, but i haven't found anyone that's selling uh the coup d'etat trading cards and batch like i can't find it right i have two sets of these uh i'd like to get more of these i haven't found anyone that's doing it um i haven't found anyone that's selling the iran contra in in bulk as well right so by next year hopefully i can get my hands on some bulk of these things and maybe we'll have two of each set or something like this right so that was that's the comic book haul uh from these guys we got sandman number six graded at 9.6 and we got eight rotten to the court trading cards uh the from 1988 right and this one came out in nine uh, sorry 1989 oh check this out this is from 1989 and sandman number six 
was from 1989 as well so super cool they're both came out the same year right good comic book haul good comic book haul right oh my god the u.s needs a 26 right now <laughs> jjgg correct chicho correct new code 26 is 24 haha <laughs> nice readster could they print new ones if you contact the company the company went bankrupt the company is uh eclipse comics right uh, eclipse comics went bankrupt in uh, uh, in 1995 i believe right eclipse comics went bankrupt in 1995 and todd mcfarlane yes todd mcfarlane bought the company what their inventory plus whatever they they had their whatever they had copyrights on there was an independent company so they their copyright was uh the publishers uh, the content creators owned the copyrights to it right so for example for this one um, does this have copyright on it it should yeah check this out it says at the bottom here run to the core trading cards text copyright 1989 Malur, Malur, malarney and gordon art copyright 1989 george tochel eclipse uh entertainment p.o box blah 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 so the copyrights are owned i don't know if this will focus are owned by the individuals people that were involved in that right so if you want to reprint this you would have to contact both those people and the artists and eclipse comics went bankrupt but todd mcfarland owns the stuff right so i don't know if he still has any of the trading cards or whatnot uh if i was buddy buddy with todd mcfarland I go, hey Todd, do you have any of those run to the core trading cards? I'd like to buy a thousand of them from you. <laughs> How about we make a deal? <laughs> right? 